Get ready to dive into the world of super smooth, slow motion and Final Cut Pro. Before we jump in, let's set the stage. When it comes to achieving epic slow-mo, a few factors matter. First, aim for the highest frame rate possible in your footage. And for those dreamy slow motion effects, your shutter speed should be at least double your frame rate. Remember, the higher, the better. Now let's work with a clip. This clip is 60 frames per second, and our project's frame rate is 30 frames per second. When we play this clip as is, it drops half of its frames to match the project rate, so it plays at 30 frames per second. But here's the cool part. Since it's shot at 60 frames per second, we can slow it down to half speed, giving us smooth slow-mo. To keep the magic flowing without losing quality, we can slow the clip to 50% speed using all 60 frames. And the shortcut, just select the clip, head to the read time menu under the viewer and choose automatic speed. The result is buttery smooth. But let's not stop there. If you adore the wonders of automatic speed and find this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. The cheesier, the better. It's like a high five for the YouTube algorithm, helping others discover these awesome tips. Now on to another example. Here's a clip shot at 120 frames per second. And my project frame rate is 30. Crunch the numbers and this clip can be slowed down to 25% of its original speed without losing quality. To make the magic happen, select the clip, click the retime menu below the viewer, and pick automatic speed. Check out that silky smooth slow-mo. But what if we want to take it even further? I slowed down the same clip 5%, but things got choppy. We were stretching those frames thin, and the project's frame rate didn't agree. Enter Final Cut Pro's Slow Motion Tools collection. Head back to that retime menu and explore the video quality options. Normal is the default setting we tried earlier, duplicating frames for the slow-mo effect, but it can get choppy, especially with drastic slowdowns. Nearest frame rounds frames up or down to match the project's rate, but it might cause visual hiccups and it still looks choppy. Then there's frame blending, which blends neighboring frames to create in-between ones. Let's check it out. Select the clip, press Ctrl R, and wait for it to render. Here's what we got. It's cool for some shots, but for super fast movements like this, it might get blurry. And now the magic trick, optical flow. This algorithm analyzes and creates new frames for ultra smooth results. It's a bit more demanding on your computer, but oh boy, the results are worth it. Apply it. Let Final Cut Pro analyze the video clip and render by selecting the clip and hitting Control R. When it's done, behold the epicness. Sure, a few distortions might pop up, but it's the go-to tool for these situations. Remember, for dreamy slow-mo, go for high frame rates and double your shutter speed. And if you want to do the opposite and make your video fast, check out my 5 Pro ways to speed up your videos in Final Cut Pro.